After whipping seven bulls in two events in a row, Cody Lowstar rode four straight bulls in Anaheim to capture the Tecate Light Invitational title. Hi, I'm Crystal Matthews. Lostro had bucked off every bull he touched in New York and Sacramento, but there must be something about Anaheim that brought him back to form. Lostro won this event last year, and history repeated itself for the Colorado Cowboy. He didn't drop below 85 points in four straight rides. In round one, it was facial fear for 88 points. In round two, it was smoky for 85 and three quarters. Round three saw 86 and a quarter on West Coast defense. And in the Built Four Tough Championship round, Lostro stuck it to Tower 59 for the round and event win. The champ, it appears, is back, but the champ is way back in the overall standings at 11. For now, the top spot in the world belongs to a redhead who may finally be coming into his own. Through sheer determination and consistency, Travis Briscoe is now the number one bull rider in the world. The New Mexico Cowboy traditionally starts strong in the early season but he's never been in this position before. Briscoe was 3 for 4 in Anaheim, highlighted by his 90 and a half on Hawaiian Ivory for the first round win. He walked away from Anaheim in 6th for the event, but with enough points to claim the lead in the world standings. Briscoe's now an astounding 13 for his past 17. He eclipsed J.B. Mooney, who held the top spot and was 0 for 3 in Anaheim. In all three rides, Mooney was within a second of making the whistle, but couldn't quite get to 8. 2008 world champ Guilherme Marchi silenced his critics, at least for a while, with an 88 and a half on Slinger's back for the win in round two. Unfortunately, it was his only ride of the weekend. What's worse, the Brazilian may have broken his hand or wrist in an injury that occurred while he was in the shoot. X-rays were slated for early in the week. You can catch a podcast interview with Marchi, along with other interviews from the weekend, right here at PBR.TV. The surprise of the weekend? Skeeter Kingsolver. The Kansas sophomore covered all of his bulls this weekend and missed out on the win by just three points. That's five events down, 25 to go. You want drama, you got it. And we're just a month away from the Dickies Iron Cowboy Invitational at Cowboy Stadium in Arlington, Texas. It's the first tournament-style event and largest single-day payout in history. So get those tickets while you can. We'll be back with a preview of next weekend's Tampa Invitational. Thanks for watching. For the PBR, I'm Crystal Matthews.